Okay, Coach, well, it wouldn't be Florida without this. A heavy tropical rainstorm coming down just prior to kickoff here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This will be taken short. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looking to throw on second down. Roethlisberger, he sets to fire deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Third down, Roethlisberger. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Bell. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. Complete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 23 yard line. Yeah! 
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Randy Gregory. Able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Recon, 152 fighter. Check out Humphrey. 50. To throw here, Roethlisberger. On the left side, it's McDonald. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that Thielen with his first catch and it's a first down ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10 now Rashad Penny and he'll get him down after a pickup of 8 second and 2 a nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second and a couple, Roethlisberger. That'll be taken in there by Miles Boykin. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Miles Boykin. His fourth touchdown on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Now Catton Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Motion, motion, motion. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football. They're looking at a third and six here to start things out. They'll run it with Bell. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. 
Now after the run by Bell, here's another first and ten. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. What do you got? And to give this time to the tailback. Now a first down and then some. And finally down at the 36-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went check three and out. Check, check, check. Motion out of the back. Now a first down carry by Bell. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And they'll throw it with Rosen. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 26. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first down, Bell, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, it's Bell. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. Now Rosen. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Oh, here we go. Oh. Left, left, left. Watch left. Hey, alert, 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 alert. Check me. 44. Hey, echo. On second down, here's Penny. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That'll go as a loss of five. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Here we go, here we go. From midfield now, here's Roethlisberger. And down he goes, a bucket air sack. Give the sack to David Anyamata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Let's go. Let's go. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you cross state to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday in the National Football League. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. General West. Five. On second down. 
It's Bell, and he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Nick Nelson, who played his college ball at Wisconsin, had the tackle. The Bucks on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. He's going to let this one go deep. And got his man complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Rosen looking to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The Bucks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Rosen. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Bullock's kick is good. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with the way this offense has played thus far, yeah, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, it's Bell. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Bell. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down now. 
It's Bell, and he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. This is Bell. And he's got Rome, the 20. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Le'Veon Bell with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And the lead is now 10-7. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense now to put something on the board, get some momentum here and have to. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Throwing on second and 14. Roethlisberger, rush coming, and he's taken down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Here's Roethlisberger. It's a complete right side to McDonald. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, of that marker. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but, hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they showed confidence in their defense by punting it away. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. SOS, SOS, SOS. SOS, SOS, SOS. Kill, 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 kill. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. On the stop was Aaron Donald. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They hand off to their big tight end, and he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up, back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You've got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. Mike 13, Mike 13. Don't get nervous. Watch the ship, watch the ship. Hey, hey, watch the ship. Watch On third down, here's Bell. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. A check of the scoreboard there in the third in Baltimore. And the Ravens now really pouring it on. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Brought down back at the 31 yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Check, 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 check. Hey, quarter. Team, Mike, 13. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike, 13, Mike, 13. He's coming, he's coming. Check. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Calais Campbell in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken around the 12. It takes a touchdown saving tackle to bring him down as he goes 32 yards on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Some good games going on in the early window this might be the best of the bunch on first down it's Roethlisberger gonna throw deep for the end zone and oh a crusher there as it's intercepted a great read and it's picked off Brandon offensively this has been a tough day for him trying to find a place to throw the football it's been extremely difficult I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary especially the corners who've had the receivers on lockdown they'll start the drive with a carry by Bell fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21 you know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because 
field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Hey, Charlie! From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. That's good for a Buccaneer's first down. First and 10. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. Bell. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. They'll go again with Bell. And once more, this play going in the wrong direction. The Saints get to him behind the line again. Two running plays go backwards, so what's the call on third and 13 now? Check 26, check 26. Monday, Monday. 198, watch 98, 98 to Mike. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, defense. Throwing now is Rosen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Calais Campbell able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. This is taken at the 23. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And the Saints will have a short field in front of them. They take over here, first and 10. They are in the fourth in Buffalo. It's the Broncos that have added on to their lead. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. Set! 180. Hey, let's get some penetration here. Check 16. Check, 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 check. 50. Hey, hey, Wood. Switch. Switch. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. So when you have good field position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Got this complete to the rookie out of UMass, Andy Isabella. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. 
Chamber. Well, going into the final.